Spin the wheel! Spin the wheel! What do you want? I see $50 on that. I see Medify. I see merch as well. We got merch yeah, on there. Medify merch. I see a Red Bull. Red Bull's fun. Eight, eight cans of Red Bull. I just have see. to put that in your bag and hold it, I guess. The winner of this set obtains... Medify? $5? No, nope, that's Medify. That's a Medify code. Sponsored by Medify here. Heck yeah. Everybody wins when ABB comes together with Do you know any Medify creators? Uh, I know multiple Medify people. And it's not just for Smash either. There's tons yep. of other games that you can get Medify coaching for. Yeah, my favorite Medify coach is Bear. He is a Mario Kart 8 streamer. Wow. And uh, yeah, I love all the variety. In fact, uh, MRW, I believe, is on Medify. And he's actually here today. Oh, uh, excellent. So that, that could be one use of the code. Definitely. You could like get your you could get your Medify set live oh, with him. Could like, get it literally live right here. here. You could just give him the code. The winner like, no, could up? get that. I see, I thought it was Lopter. <laughs> like that was my second guess. Yeah, Lopter and Anaconda. I'm surprised I actually got Anaconda right. <laughs> so thankfully, like when, when Lopter goes back to watch this, they won't get that part. Yeah, they won't get know? that part. Because <laughs> when you do the VODs, you don't do the pre talk. Like you don't do three minutes well, before. Maybe they'll so keep I'm the, safe. Maybe they'll keep the spin the wheel though in the VOD. Oh, That's it, it better be in the VOD. That's free Medify promo. It's true. That's free Medify and promo. And it's a nice wheel. I want true. a wheel. I want a wheel too. I want to spin a wheel. It's wheelie cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, no. Chad. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. But lots of good talent today. Of course, we got Lobster, Anaconda on stream. You said Lobster was a Bayonetta player. Yes. I'm He's glad a Bayonetta I have Bayonetta from Resident London. Bayonetta. Yes, expert. you have an actual <laughs> Bayonetta expert. I am probably the most qualified Bayonetta commentator here. So Excellent. This is fantastic. I'm going to be misnaming moves left, right, and center. It's yeah. Okay. I just say. The Aerial heel slide. Aerial heel slide. <laughs> I thought it was uh, after, after Burner Cake, right? Cake. Yeah, see? Yes. I, know my, I know my stuff. I know my stuff. Lobster is well known for their instant double jump witch twists um, oh. because it kind of works like how witch twist did in Smash 4 where it can just pop them up and they like they're just they're just there. And it's done. The worst spot to be in <laughs> because you're just above Bayonetta again. It's like uh oh. Oh, I'm here. And they I'm have another witch twist still and another jump. Yeah, the instant double jump actually it preserves the double jump, right? If yes. they witch twist fast enough. Yeah, if you if you witch twist within four frames of uh, a jump as well, yeah, you that's get so another tricky. double jump style. So, very useful. So, winner of this set gets a Medify code. Yes. That's very interesting. I'm not sure of the main that Anaconda is playing, but it'll be it. It, it should be the loser gets the Medify code. You know, get better. <laughs> yeah, that would be helpful, huh? <laughs> well. The rich get richer. What can I say? What can I say? Maybe they'll have a chance later today to get another <laughs> Metaphor card. Exactly, exactly. And so. they can actually use the register code HABBY for 20% off any creator. HABBY20 oh, wow. even. HABBY20. H-A-B-B-Y-2-0 for 20% off Metaphor. What hit that? Save 20% off Metaphor lessons. And they also made uh, made this weekly pos uh, made this uh, regional possible. Um, and the winner's wheel, of course, uh, by providing the prizes, providing uh, the money as well. So, shout outs, big shout outs to Medify. Amen to that. So, it looks like we're getting right into this. Bayonetta and drum roll, please. It's a I, I want to say, <laughs> I want to say, like, Lucario for Lucario? some reason. Or maybe thinking, Min Min with like those Anubis. long arms. That's oh, where yeah, the Anaconda the comes in. <laughs> maybe it's Snake. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's just Snake. That's All right, Bylock. Bylock. Okay, you you know kind of got like the That's Anaconda sort of the up yeah, yeah, sort of the, the whip. I get it, I get it. I see it. This is an interesting matchup. Um, I think that Bayonetta absolutely wins this. Okay. Because Byleth is slow, and Bayonetta can get in on those long range uh, disjoints relatively easily. Yeah, a lot of a lot of Byleth's neutral comes from jumping, and I feel like Bayonetta can really capitalize on a, a lot of just empty jumps in neutral. Yeah. So uh, you're seeing a lot of empty hops right now. Yeah. And that's just something that like generally the first advice I'll tell someone to do when they're fighting a Bayo, stay grounded. Yeah. Because absolutely. the moment you jump is the moment you make yourself vulnerable to a foolish afterburner kick. But right now, you know, doing a decent job blocking up with nearest, but the pairing the first hit, but now you're in the vortex. Light combo there, just for the percent and the positioning. Yeah, I don't blame it. I like the I like the jump call over the forward smash. A little too ambitious, gonna get reversal, but that nair is so hard to deal with. Yeah, for sure. Now we've seen excellent players like MK Leo do work with that nair. It's the way that the multi hits work, make it so hard for the fast uh, to catch the fastball timing. Nice dash. Just raw dash. dash dash out of the corner. Oh, oh my oh heavens! My See you later. You gotta be careful. Like when you're when you're below someone, 
with a <laughs> strong, slow spike. Do not underestimate it. Go for the edge guard all the way down there. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how you got to kill this character sometimes. Yeah. Especially Bayo. It's it's a thing. Yeah, I feel like Bayo is one of the few characters that Whoa. actually has the privilege to edge guard a character like Violet. For sure. Just able to, to recover from, from such depths, right? You, oh, can, this... you can go under them with like a witch twist to avoid the up hitting yeah. you as well, which is what you generally want to be doing. Well, the drag down up air, that was key, but not able to find anything off of it. But the heel slide coming through, looking for the reverse up oh, air to like... the forward air. There's nothing oh, burn yeah. off the witch twist again. Up air, forward Look at this one, damage. Two, not going to kill. Didn't want to go for the risky play. Um, a lot of Bayos nowadays will go for a fair one too, and then hope that their opponent just doesn't do anything. Calling wow. out the jump from ledge. Yeah, My that's goodness. gonna be a problem because Spana doesn't snap with her witch twist. But there we see the edge guard coming in clutch, but bringing him back to the stage. Yeah, couldn't get the second hit of witch twist properly. Yep, there's the forward throw coming through. No stale. Oh my god. Oh heavens. my. Yeah, you that could, that could have been dangerous. Good, uh, good saving the jump from Anaconda there. Catching the nair gets the grab and the forward air. Lobster taking some hits. I'll look yeah. for that down air. This is Lobster's last stock. We saw, you know, two stocks basically get ripped from their hands. You gotta be careful. And the spike. Okay. Oh, not no, quite not, high they're, enough. They're percent. below 50, so they're fine. Yeah. There's the grab back throw. I wonder if I don't know if London has a good buy left because this is. This is definitely a character that you need to be accustomed to. Yeah, they are. especially with the popularity of you know, MK Leo yeah. and, uh, and among others, you know. Yeah. No. Oh, you got to go below them. Tight. Careful. Yeah. One frame too late. This fourth throw might gone. do it. No. Not quite. That's too stale. It's been used three times recently. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the nair. That's another great option. Just edge guard. Look out! Oh, <laughs> my just, heart. You know what? Didn't <laughs> even bother. Still that bias there with that look out. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Lofter and I were talking in DMs last night, so. <laughs> uh oh, that's it. Well, that might be the stock. That might be the stock. Oh, we saved uh, this jump. Got the up B. You would have loved to see it. Like, an up and the up smash might yeah. actually do it here. Not quite. Not going to kill. Surprising. That up smash is very strong. And Bayonetta being a lighter character, that's quite impressive. Yeah, yeah. looking for the two frame here. Lock Forward to be careful. Not Ooh. able to react to the ledge option. Taking a lot of percent Beautiful here. Beautiful damage. And, and the forward, the forward sweet air is going to take it. Yeah. That'll you know what? It. Sweet and simple finisher right there. That's like what you it. need sometimes. No now, Anaconda taking those two first stocks very, very efficiently. Yeah. The forward smash and the down air, you know, you got it. Just basically keeping Lopter in check. Making, yeah, sure. making them respect the options at ledge. Does Leo do Metify? Yes. Well, I think, Anaconda. I think if you're a top player and you're not doing Metify. <laughs> Anaconda, uh, you're looking pretty good here if you want that nice Leo session. Leo experience. Leo <laughs> experience. Be really useful. I believe he's quite expensive as well. Yeah. So, I I don't know if it's a if it, the Metify code is, is just a discount code or just straight up a free. Lesson, I'm not sure. I but I would hope it's. Yeah. I mean, either is fine, but. Oh, it's a thirty dollars worth. Thirty code. worth co dollars worth code. Nice. Nice. Thank that you. That is very Shout useful. Out to production for helping us out with that one. Uh, so we got the PS2 counter pick here. Nice uh, forward air on the tech end. Interesting stage choice. Yeah, I like I like Violet uh, a lot on this stage because the center stage is so valuable on it. Yeah, for, Bayo um, on the stage less so. For yeah, me. I, I feel like the platforms kind of get in the way of the combos, especially if you're, you happen to find a, a combo starter underneath them. They help, but they can also hinder. Yeah, it's it's weird. They're just high up, which is nice. Yeah. Oh, and I guess they like that. Uh, you can see them do the little wave land there, which I guess is nice. Also, yeah. the color switch. Yeah, color switch is always cool. A big mentality <laughs> thing, because Bayo's effects are different. So oftentimes okay. people will choose a red Bayo if they want to play more aggressively. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's such a silly little thing, but like, it's Calling real. And that back jump. here, killing it. 70, you got to be very careful yeah, about that. A lot, a lot of Bayos like to do the jump off of the ledge with the uh, with the afterburner kick. Yeah, And just calling strong. it up with the back air, just putting it in the way. It's so hard for Bayo to get around it. Yeah, for sure. If Anaconda the options, definitely so. knows what they're doing in this matchup. Yeah, certainly. Here comes Seems the very throw. comfortable. Running off stage, going all the way down there, oh. but it's so scary. Another up B, but okay. unfortunately did not very risky. recover. Yeah, Anaconda could have done like a nice back air there after that up B, but mm -hmm. I guess they were more focused on the recovery, which I respect. Yeah. Oh, getting Ooh. the second hit heel slide there. A lot of potential, but nothing going to come out of it. Yeah, Anaconda just a little bit too far for uh, for Lopter to capitalize. Oh, nice patience there, waiting for the dash attack to finish. Oh, looking for the wish time, not going to find it. Just runs up and grabs. That's some desperation, yeah. Yeah. You don't want to risk it sometimes. You never know how long counters last when you're actually playing. For sure. Here comes another grab from Lopter. Offstage situation gets the update. There's what you want to do. Yes. 
Oh, oh that was so guard. unlucky for Anaconda. <laughs> Well, again, like one frame of a difference there, and Lofter was dead, opponent, yeah. and Anaconda was sitting in mid, mid stage, like hell yeah. Yeah. But hey, oh, reversals big damage reversals. opportunity here. Uh, oh. Not gonna get the forward air. Lots of potential. But. A lot of respect that uh, Lofter is showing for Anaconda, and almost to a detriment here. Yeah. Giving up a lot of damage in that situation. I like the F tilt in the grab, but a little too ambitious. Yeah. At this percent, you can combo F tilt in the forward air, so I'm not sure. Just, I guess, a, a comfort pick to do that, uh, the grab attempt. Yeah. And, like, I get it if you're close up, but too too far. And that jump after Burner Cake, of course, such a threat Ooh, for, uh, like for a first option. Here comes the back throw. Going to try to clean up the stock. Anaconda, full stock down, almost lapped in percent. You're going to have to make something happen. Yeah, it's looking much better for Lofter here, for sure. But, I mean, it's Bayonetta. There's a chance, uh, chance things couldn't go very well. And, yeah. We've seen by left kill pretty early. Oh, there you go. And we've also seen Bayonetta wow. struggle to kill, and we're seeing it right now. Good adaptation yeah. gets the you spike gotta off be stage. So careful with that up beat. It's so risky against a character like Violet who can just reversal you and take your stock for it. There comes the up tilt. There's the side B, up B there. Oh, potential back air there, but I think the narrow is fair choice. Yeah. There's the there back air you're talking about. Sour spot, however. Side B for a little bit of momentum stall. Gets back to stage, but has to fight through the ledge trap. Gets forward here. Unsafe in the forward throw. Still not going to kill. Yeah. I'd like to be seeing some jabs for a kill option here from Lopter. Yeah, jab, dash attack. I think this is it, right? Yeah, it's got to be up tilt back air in the witch <laughs> time. Assuming they got the back air, it was. Yeah. I've seen many times where people miss that back air to me. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, game five with Black Twins once actually, Mistake had the exact same situation where he up tilted, he missed the back air and he lost the set because of it. Game oh, five man. last hit, can you believe it? You gotta be so precise with that back air. I yeah. feel like it comes out at such an awkward timing. Yeah, and it... it's frame 13 I believe yeah. and it's relatively small. So that was Sour Spot and it's lucky it killed. Yeah. Lofter was at pretty high percent. And... Yes, he had the rage. And I mean, Anaconda was at 170, I'd hope it mm -hmm. killed, but you never know. Sour yeah, spot. It's just Bayo. It's Sour Bayo spots, kill. Yeah. You know, they can mess you up. Absolutely. And we're going into game three once again. A whole Metafy code is on the line. Another thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. That's two thirty dollar wheels. You know, thirty dollars just a lucky number today. Thirty dollars. Going into it, game three. Back to PS2 we go. Ooh. Gets the grab off the nair. The witch. The witch. Time, uh, sorry, that's the thing. Good forward air interrupting Back that. to this stage is interesting. I think if I'm if I'm Anaconda, I don't mind PS2. I don't either, but there might be other options that might benefit you more and detriment Bayo more. But like, I respect it. Just a grab on the F tilt. Looking for the uh, empty land. Side B, able to miss. I don't know how much SDI actually affects um, the combos in this game. I feel like it's still probably a sizable amount, right? It's enough. Yeah. It's enough that you should be doing it. For sure. Looking for the down air once again, trying to seal that star just like in game oh, one. Beautiful dash attack. Yeah. I love Anaconda's ledge trapping, just that understanding lingers. that uh, the Lopter really wants to find that uh, afterburner kick from the ledge. Yeah, the ledge trapping has been beautiful from Anaconda the entire set. And that's it. Oh, and the scoop. No, no wow. Amazing DI. Two up rage. smashes that just did not take it. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. going to take the stock 150 cross stage. Was that, that was the sweet spot for sure. Was that witch twist into. I don't Back air, it looked certain. like it. I, was, I just I, saw the back air. I out. looked at Magic for a second. It's his fault. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. He's just so handsome. So distracting. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the down tilt. Look at this ledge trapping once again. Gets the near fastball, but the turn around up. You're going to get the double air. witch twist. Forward air. Oh, I love that. See, that's what I meant. You wait for it. Mm -hmm. I respect that, Didn't too. work out because they had a jump, but it's Deep. something that, like, if... If Anaconda didn't jump, they were dead. That's yeah. the idea. There's a lot of damage here, 82% once again. And we've seen Lofter just able to close out these stocks. He's got that clutch factor, the dash attack coming through, pushing him oh. off, safe into the corner. Not able to that end the edge guard, though. Tether goes so far up. It's so good. It's such a good tether to have. Back air, and that's yeah. going to take the stock. Capitalizing on the lag of that afterburner kick, understanding the amount of lag. Just excellent mastery of the character, honestly. Looking for the downer once again, but the double uh, afterburner kick going to carry him off into the corner. Lopter giving me slight heart attacks with those down air uh, interactions. <laughs> it's like, so I'm, stressful. It's like, I don't know if you should be going under him after the first one. Oh, trying to interrupt once again, but the instant tether is uh, just too fast. The Beautiful. Back gonna that's, take it. that's the bread and butter. There it is. That's why you want an SDI, to yeah. avoid that. <laughs> There's the full uh, wish for us into the up air. Oh, I love oh, that nair. Oh. 
Lobster is definitely doing much better this game than yeah. either of the other two with their combos. Look at this damage output getting yeah, a little 79 bit. 79 already. It's going to be a very difficult time for Ancon to come back from this one. Yeah, and the forward <laughs> smash just coming out. Just give him the fist. Coming all uh -oh. the way down there. Are you dead? You are. We're I think that was low. a miss input with the side V. No. Unfortunate. Not like that. Game three.